Can God turn to be my enemy or enemy? The answer is yes. And if the answer is yes, then why? The God who created you and me turns to be my enemy or your enemy. It happened before. Let us get into detail of why God turned before to be the enemy of the Israelites, God's chosen people, and God really fought them. I understand. In case you're watching this channel for the first time, and or you have just landed for the first time to be this in this channel. To you I say welcome. Here you will find God's truth. Here you will find God's truth without being selling selling. You will not buy. You will not sow under this anointing. Because freely God gave and freely I give. Hallelujah. Good. If the contents of this channel pleases you, make sure you subscribe, you share, you like. In this way, you are supporting the channel. And also, in this way, when you do that, the YouTube will be able to notify you whenever I upload any new contents and shall be of the benefit to you for the glory of God the Father. Yes, the reason why God turned against the Israelites is because God showed them deliverance, not only showing them, but they experienced the deliverance, they experienced next level, they experienced the loving kindness of God, they experienced good things from God, but yet they continue to do things against His will his law, and his commandments. And God turned to be their enemies. It's very well explained in the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, verse 7 through verse 10. Let's read. As always, I read in, in the King James Version. God says here through the prophet Isaiah, I will mention of the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to his multitude of his loving kindness, kindnesses. For he said, surely, they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. Wonderful things. Let's continue. Verse 9. In all the affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. Here God is revealing how the angel of God's presence was able to save the Israelites. So we see there are angels who are ministering in salvation to make sure people are saved. And even in this time of New Testament, it is happening. What are deep things here? Glory to Jesus. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them and he bore them and carried them all the days of old. What a powerful God. Now see, in verse 10, the problems occurs or the problem is revealed. It says in verse 10, but they rebelled. And vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he was turned to be the enemy. And he fought against them. 
my brothers and sisters. It's happened for, before. In this verse 10, God says, because of rebellion, God turned against them. And on all, not only rebelling against God, but rebelling against the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, if you sin against him, it shall be forgiven, but not with the Holy Spirit. If you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sin shall never be forgiven in this world and also in the you know, world to come. Remember Ananias and Sapphira lying before the Holy Spirit. The God struck them dead. Hey. <laughs> In this time of revival, people are playing with salvation, not playing with the salvation no, anymore. You are here, my brother. You are here, my sister. Maybe you are a leader in the church, whether you are the leader in the nations. God has elevated you. You are trusting God for more eleva elevation, for more opportunity, for higher degree. And God showed you loving kindness. God sent his angel of salvation to do good for you, to do good for me. But still, be when you got into a better position, you starting now fighting against God, fighting against the Holy Spirit, fighting against His decision. Maybe He told you, go and bless this person who is talking to you, Mr. Monaco, is me. Maybe the Holy Spirit said, oh, go and bless him. But you said, no, 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 no. I will not bless him because how my blessing him he become rich? No, 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 I will not do that. Okay. Not even me, maybe somebody. But you are hurting your heart against the Holy Spirit. That is rebellion. It's not only money. Rebelling against doing the right thing. Holiness, righteousness, those are rebellions. Rebellions is vast, is big, is major. Is major. So do not rebel against the Holy Spirit. Because if you do as an individual, the Holy Spirit will, will not fight against you, but God himself will fight against you. Do not underestimate this Holy Spirit. He is a great God, but very, 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 very kind. He, do, he will not do things against you. But God has said, if you rebel against the Holy Spirit, you will do what? He will become your enemy and he will fight you and he will not prevail. Are you understanding? In the name of Jesus Christ. And this is to anyone. If you are a judge or in Supreme Court in, you know, all over the world, make sure you do the right thing. The Holy Spirit is everywhere because it is revival time. And if you are a doctor, treat patients in a good way. And maybe you have been given money to kill, to destroy, to steal. Do not do that because the Holy Spirit will tell you not to do that. But if you continue to rebel against him because disobedience is like witchcraft, 